Hello from the Six Acre Farmstead. Today is June 24th, 2017. Um, tonight I'm moving hives. Uh, I'm, we're actually out here in the fruit orchard that I've been my bees been pollinating for the last few months. Um, lots of apples, lots of fruit here, so it looks like they did their job. Uh, part of the agreement with the property owner was I had to remove the hives by July. Well, July's coming here in a week. We're actually a little ahead of the game here. Got some other plans going on. So what I'm gonna do is uh, explain how, you, how I move my hives, uh, especially moving hives from one location to the other in the evening. Um, right now, as we're going through the night, a lot of the field bees have actually started coming back to the hive. These two hives actually had a bunch of bees that were bearding here in the front of them. Um, the remedy to this without smoking the bees here, I tried something new. I actually brought my honey harvester and sprayed a few sprays here around the, where the clustered bees and actually drove a lot of the bees back into the box there, which was actually something worked out. So the game plan is this. I'm gonna ratchet strap my hives and screen the entrance before moving them. I do have a honey super in here. I've already moved the, uh, the lid. Oops, let me just see my hands. Move the, move the hive lid back. I'm gonna put a ratchet strap this way. I'm gonna uh, just secure it all together. I'm gonna cut a piece of screen I'm going to screen the entrance of this hive entrance here and staple it in place with a bunch of staples so the bees can't go out on the transport. Once I have that done to this hive, I'll go ahead and do the same to the other hive. And once both are screened, all the bees are screened in, then I'm going to use a secondary ratchet strap and, and uh, strap the hive around the other way there. So basically I have a present effect. It's secured this way, secured this way, so the boxes shouldn't shift upon moving. There is a, hopefully there's not too much weight here, but I'm gonna try to get it into the back of the truck. The also the plan is to, once these are moved out of here, take my stand, which that's why I made it portable, take the stand out and the blocks. So um, I guess we'll get ready to, a lot of the bees, are, a few bees coming in here. I guess we'll go ahead and get the uh, straps around these, uh, these boxes here. Alrighty, a couple things keep in uh, consideration when you have ratchet straps. One, you wanna make sure they're long enough. I believe these are, 15 foot long ratchet straps uh, give you plenty of room to go around the hive on one direction and uh, for, especially going around the other direction. Uh, the other thing else to keep in mind is planning for where you're going to take these hives. Um, I am taking my, my hive stands with me but actually at the farm set I've got a bench that I'm not even using so make sure that you have that in your plan also when you're moving your hives is where you're going to put them where you're going to set them when you get back. Um, that way when I get back all I do is pull the, the screen from the front and then tomorrow morning the bees will allocate uh, to where it is. For me, I'm a good 20, 25 minutes away from the farm set now where the, the fruit orchard is there, so I don't have to worry about the uh, bees drifting back or to this location there. We should be far enough. So when they get back to the, the farm set there, they'll we'll start orient that location there uh, as their new home, and then they'll become going to and fro from there. So let's go ahead and get these strapped up. That's one thing I like about my benches here when I build them. I have enough room where I can slide this and work actually underneath of them. And Center. Interlock your two rings. Strap on. And then I like about it is I can ratchet and tighten this whole thing up. So we're good there. Got a lot of slack here. We'll tie that down when we're ready to move them. Go and get this other hot done. Got a two by four in the way.
All right, that one's strapped up. Now, next thing is getting the screen, cutting it to a good length to wrap it around and to get it stapled in place. All right, this next step here, you got a lot of planning in here. The one thing about moving these things at night is that you have all your bees with you, all your field bees are back, which means this hive is plum full. Knowing that they were bearding on the outside of this thing, they were controlling the temperature, which means another uh, reason that they were uh, definitely, it's, it's a very strong full colony. So basically what I'm gonna do is maybe get a little play on this one here. I've got a little bit of a lip down here. Actually, there's a little staple here from beforehand. I don't want to try to get these things aggressive yet because I'm gonna have to plug this thing up really quick because I'm gonna have lots of bees coming out of this thing and stapling it in place. <clears throat> Got a, I think it was a Stanley heavy duty staple gun here. I'm using the 5 16th staples in it. So I'm just, I took the screen, I folded it into, fold it in half, and make a bit of an L shape. Now I'm going to try to do is work this thing here without these bees coming out and being very aggressive and protecting their hive. So basically I'm filling, covering the notch up as much as possible right now. Hopefully I can hold it in place somewhat. And then just start stapling like crazy. Because Zap there, no gloves. One reason I use these smaller staples is the ease of uh, removing them a little bit later. Yeah, I'm putting a lot in here, but they're gonna, hopefully I'll be able to get these out a little easier. This is got a lot of staples here, but not a problem because I wanna make sure that when I'm moving this thing down the road, these bees, I'm not losing all my bees behind me. I'm just good gauge to see where they're at, which ways they're trying to come out, and filling those gaps in there, and just stapling it off where they're at. Man, this thing is full of bees. They all want out right now. So I think we're in good shape. I don't see any coming out. I'll keep an eye out. I still got us a few stragglers out here. Some will go underneath the hive. The other ones will, uh... yeah, I got a bunch of bees here too. That's why I moved the cover here because I have it, an entrance up here also. I want like a piece of screen here. Let's see if we can get that in place. And staple up this top entrance here. Should have planned ahead and flipped the cover up ahead of time when I had thought about it earlier, but this thing was full of bees anyways. So I think we're in good shape with the, the screening this hive there. I'm going to go ahead and do this other one, and then I'll show you the next part of the video when we go ahead and uh, put the other strap on. Alrighty, one uh, straps in, the screen's in here also, I don't see the bees coming out or anything. Now it's time to put the straps on the other side. So, carefully, I'm going to lift up this hive, put a weight on it, and center the strap in the middle here. Same back here. All right. Take this strap, pull it up top. Strap over here, top here, the loop. Pull the tension. All right, now I just 
just take these excess straps here and we just tie them on the side for now. Get them out of the way. Just like a present. Go ahead and do this other hive and uh, get ready to move them into the truck. All right, got the hives all buttoned up. Now to lift them up. Um, for me, it's only one here doing this tonight. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get my, I gotta clip my truck as close as possible so I can lift them up, put them in here. If you got two, two people, uh, probably a lot easier because there's a lot of weight on these things here. Here, if they got this box here, it could be about 100 pounds of honey here. And, and a few pounds, uh, maybe 40, 50 pounds of honey here also. I could have took them off there, but I recently took the supers off so there shouldn't be too much there. So hopefully I can lift both these things up and get them slid into the, the back of the truck. That's one. Now for number two. Success. Got both hives in here. I'm going to get the stand, the bricks, thrown back in here, tighten down the hive, strap to the truck so it don't move. Uh, a lot of weight there. And headed down the road. All right, light's really poor here, not much here. So everything is, uh, both hives are in here, strapped in, benches here, all the blocks here and here. Uh, so we are ready to get, head back home. So that's it from Six Acre Farmstead. Until the next time, goodbye.